Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. It's been a while since I've seen you, so welcome back to the channel. And for all you new subscribers out there who are considering to subscribe, please do. Um, it's much appreciated. And hit that like button if you don't mind. I'd really appreciate it as well. Um, I've been really pumped up about this video because I've been researching these, these machines. Well, I actually own one of them, so it's pretty easy to research that one. But I'm kind of looking around for new machines to consider for a new metal detector or something different. I've had the XP Deus now for several years, and I've gotten to figure out how to use it pretty well, I think. Uh, I really enjoy that machine. It's very customizable to just about anything I want to do. But I'm just looking, seeing all the new stuff out there. I'm like, hmm, is there anything out there that could be, you know, better or maybe, I don't know, different that I might consider, you know, picking up in the future? And the one machine that keeps hitting, hitting me in the head every time I, I either search on videos or search on, the, on, on Google for things comparable to the Deus, I keep getting this one machine, and that's the Nocto uh, Macro Infibial Multi. So we're going to take a look at these two machines, the XP Deus and the Infibial Multi today. So these two machines are very similar, but there are some key differences. And... I'll tell you, if I was if I was looking for a new machine and I was kind of starting out, and or maybe I was looking at you know going to a more advanced machine, and I had a price that was a little bit you know in the ballpark of where the AT Pro is, or a little bit more than that, or maybe a, an Equinox, I would probably consider the Infibio. But we're going to walk through some of the things that are that are different and some of the things that are similar, and so let's just get down to it. I put an article over on my webpage, mentalmountaindetecting.com, as you can see above there. Uh, if you want to check out the details in this article, feel free to stop on over and check it out. Uh, there are several links and several uh, charts in there you can actually look at and for the comparison pieces. I'm not going to go through all of it in too much detail here in this video just because we don't have a lot of time. So uh, starting out, I just kind of go through what's in the article. Uh, I go through the company origins. It's kind of something that you can read. Um, but these two machines are considered multi-frequency. But they are not simultaneous multi-frequency like the you know, MindLab Equinox. These are multi-frequency but single frequency operation. So basically you're in a single frequency when you're operating it. If you want to change frequencies, that's fine. You can change it. But you are not in simultaneous frequency mode uh, like, like you can do with the Equinox. And that's one of the big differences. Now the freak ranges differ on machines. Like the XP has a lot more... I would say uh, a bigger range of frequencies it can it can operate in. I think by default it goes from 3.7 to 27.7 kilohertz. But if you get the round HF coil, the elliptical coil, it puts you in a whole other ballpark, which puts you in 13 kilohertz range to 55 kilohertz, and then up to 81. So depending on you know what you do the research on what you can find on those higher frequencies. But I will tell you the higher frequencies do matter. Um, and some of these machines, especially the Deus, uh, proven now with my HF coil operating at 54, so um, or 55. So the 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 Amphibio, on the other hand, only has three frequencies that I'm aware of: five kilohertz, 14 kilohertz, and 20 kilohertz. So you can you can adjust in between those, I think, but you can only those are the three you know standard frequencies you can operate in. So, but honestly, those three frequencies are more than enough that you're going to need to find the targets you're looking for, to be quite honest with you. Um, even on the Deus, I very seldom use 55, or I think it shows up as 54. Um, so I'm usually in the 8 kilohertz, 12 kilohertz range, uh, 28, 8, 31. That's where I operate in the XP Deus most of the time. But those higher frequencies do pay off. When you clean out a site and you switch over to one of those higher frequencies, the machine operates a little bit differently, at least it does in the XP Deus. And some of those targets that you probably wouldn't dig in those lower frequencies, uh, that frequency will make you dig them. It's kind of like the cleanup frequency that I've been told. So going down further, if, the, if you're looking for cost, and cost is a limit to you, then the Amphibio is probably going to be in your favor. It is a lot cheaper uh, than the Deus. The Deus is fully outfitted with the WS5 headphones. Uh, the control box can run you around $1,200, give or take, depending on the deal you get. Uh, I believe the, the Amphibio... It's about four to five hundred dollars cheaper, um, so something to consider when you are looking at these machines. Weight is another factor for me. I really have gotten used to the lightweight XP Days, and uh, with the control box on the XP Days, 
it weighs approximately two pounds. If you take the control box off, it's only one pound, 15 ounces. It's ridiculously light. I mean, it's like a feather. Now, the Nocta Amphibio is 3.7 pounds with the coil. So just keep that in mind. It's a little bit heavier, about twice the weight, but it's really not that bad, honestly. 3.7 pounds is not that heavy. Now, there's a lot of similarities that both machines have, and, and, for, and instead of me walking through each one of these, I'll just point out some of the key things that you're going to probably want to know about. Uh, you do have notch filtering on both machines. You do have the ability to change tones, ground balance options, frequency shifts. Both machines offer a pinpoint capability. Target ID of 0 to 99, both of them are the same. Um, LCD displays, they're both wireless, headphones, and you both get uh, firmware updates, so that's good. So if there's any new updates to the machines, you can actually get updates. Um, and they both have a retractable shaft, which makes them really nice and compact to, to put in your backpack. I would say the Deus probably compacts a little, down a little bit more because you can pop the control box off, where I think the uh, Amphibia you can't. So just keep that in mind. Now, ground balance, ground balance options are pretty much the same, except I think the Deus offers um, some manual pumping options as well as a beach mode. Um, you know, kind of removing the uh, the you know how do you how do you ground balance at a beach? The, the Deus has a beach option there for that. Um, search coil options. This is where a big difference comes into play. The Deus only has about four coil options you can pick. And whereas the Amphibio has like, I think it's like eight coils you can pick from. And they range from concentric coils to, you know, your 15 inch DD coils. So there's a pretty different, big, big difference in coils compared to the Deus. Now the Deus um, offer starts out at like a nine and a half round HF coil you can pick up. And it goes up to, for the new X35 coils, you can get a 13 inch by 11 coil. But uh, I think the coil prices is a little bit different here too. Uh, I know the XP Deus coils have come down in price, but they're still pricey. Um, the Amphibio, they're not too bad from what I can see. And again, if you're looking for a price on all this stuff, um, you can link over to my, I'll link over to my, my article here and I'll put you, I'll link you into some of these areas where you can check out the prices. Um, search mode. So I will tell you the search modes are rather sim pretty similar to each other, but uh, the Deus has a gold field prox prospecting, wet beach, dry beach, relic, coin hunting, Five additional preset modes and eight customizable programs that you can you can make your own programs. The Amphibio has a I guess it's called a generic generic search mode: two tone, three tone, four tone, five tone, ninety nine tone, beach deep, and cash. So I don't know much about those those uh, modes. I know in the days you can search in five tones anywhere anytime you want to in any one of those search modes that it offers. Um, so I'm not really sure about the macro here of the Amphibio. And these different programs, I guess you, I'd have to watch more videos to figure out what each one does. But um, to me, they look pretty similar in nature, but um, depends on what you're searching for, really. Are they both 100% waterproof? The answer is absolutely no. This is the thing that crushes me with XP. XP, if you're listening, I would love you guys to come out with a waterproof metal detector. You know, where are you in this world? Uh, the Amphibio is 100% waterproof. I wish the XP was waterproof. I really do. You could buy a waterproof kit for it. Uh, I've used the waterproof kit and it works fine. It's just kind of a pain to put on. A battery life comparison between the Deus and the Amphibio. They're about the same. I think you get one more hour of use uh, from the Deus than you do the Amphibio. You get about 20 hours of use for the Deus, 19 with the Amphibio. Warranty compar comparison. The XP definitely beats beats uh, beats out the Amphibio here. It offers five years, whereas the Amphibio, you get about two-year warranty with it. My key takeaways, like I said earlier, you know, uh, both of these machines, if I had to go back and do it again, back when I was converting over to a new machine from the my AT Pro, I was, you know, going up in, in category here to a more advanced machine. Uh, at the time, there were no other, you know, multi-frequencies to pick from other than Deus and I think I don't even know if there was anything else out there. There might have been the CTX 3030, but that was way out of my price price range. These machines today are, you can't beat them. I mean, the Amphibio for the price, if I had to do this all over again, I probably would have bought the Amphibio. It's just because I like to water hunt, and that's a machine I know I can water hunt with and not be worried about it, whereas I can't do that with the Deus. I can only take the Deus in up to the control box, unless I put it in a waterproof kit. 
Um, that's just that's just the facts. You know, if I'm looking to replace my AT Pro or something like that, I may consider an, uh, an Amphibio, but they just come out with a Simplex, and that also is 100% waterproof. So, and it's getting a lot of good reviews. So, and that's like even a third of the price. So, a lot of things to consider here. But both of these machines are amazing machines. I would I would recommend either one of them, depending on what you're looking for. But if you're if you're tight on your budget, you'll have a little less to spend. Then go with the Amphibio. You do get 100% waterproof capability with that machine. If you're looking to be able to customize programs and do a lot of crazy stuff with your machine, then I would really recommend the Deus, honestly, just because you do have a lot of features you can customize. And I think you, you do have a lot of features in the Amphibio, too, that you can customize. But I think the Deus does have a little bit more um, in it as far as customizable features. So, all right, guys, that's it for me. This is the wrap-up for the Amphibio XP Deus comparison. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And, hey, if you guys got a multi-frequency uh, metal detector you'd like to recommend to me because I am in the market, please drop a comment. Let me know which one's out there that I should look at. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. And until next time, see ya in another Mental Metal video.